When it comes to making your yard beautiful, adding some colorful plants and flowers can really make a big difference. And all you really need is a little inspiration and a plan, and I can help you with both. Now this home already has some basic landscaping, but we found two great areas to add some decorative plants and shrubs. We're gonna be planting in a tree ring around this drought resistant mallow, and then we'll make a shrub corner right up against the fence. Let's start with the tree ring. We built a small ring out of cement block and basically it's just a retaining wall. If you'd like to build a small ring like this for your landscape garden, check out the step-by-step -step instructions for building a retaining wall at lowes.com slash videos. If you're working with a tree that's already in place, think about the color and texture of the leaves and flowers throughout the seasons and kind of use that as a guide for choosing your complementary plants. If your tree is an evergreen, go for deciduous shrubs and always plan to place your lowest plants in the front. And mix up the types too. Lowe's has lots to choose from, giving you a wide range of choices for your landscape gardens. And when you visit lowes.com slash plants, you can find all kinds of varieties and even landscape ideas to give you inspiration when you plan your garden. To go with our cutie mallow here, we've chosen an evergreen boxwood, which we can trim periodically to keep it looking good, and the pretty pink dahlias, which bloom spring, summer, and fall. And remember, you can always switch out your plants as the seasons change. Okay, so now for our shrub corner next to the fence. A corner space like this is a great way to add personality to your yard, and the centerpiece of our garden is gonna be this gorgeous orange tree. In the springtime, it has fantastic blossoms, and later it'll have bright orange, delicious fruit. For your garden, you wanna pick a tree that's right for your region, and you also wanna make sure it has shallow roots so it doesn't damage your home's foundation. Next to our orange tree, we're gonna plant some euonymus that have really fun green and yellow leaves, and these dianthus will add a really nice earthy pop of purple, and then we'll finish it off by filling everything in with this low-growing juniper. It makes for great ground cover. Before you begin a project that involves digging, call 811 to be connected to your local utility company. They'll mark any utility lines for you. If you have mulch, rake it up first. If you're planting in sod, mark off your bed with a garden hose and use a flat shovel to remove the sod. Break the soil using a spade, but be careful not to disturb any tree roots, or you can use a cultivator. Now I'm just going to lay down some landscape fabric to help control the weeds. I'll hold it in place with landscape spikes. I lay out my plants to see just how I like them, then I'll cut an X anywhere I put a plant. Typically, dig the holes about two to three inches deeper and wider than the pots they come in, but check your plant tag. Add a layer of enriched soil to the bottom. Now you want to grab the plant by the stem, squeeze the outside of the pot to release the soil, gently remove, and then loosen the roots so that they grow apart, and then place the plant in the hole and fill it with soil. Do this for all your plants. Okay, so with all the plants in place, you're going to want to cover everything with a layer of soil and then mulch and then give it a really good soaking. You want to water once a day the first week, then once or twice a week for the entire first growing season. An efficient way to deliver water is with a drip irrigation system. The installation is easy. Just watch the video at lowes.com slash videos. A tip to make your flowers really bloom? Use plant food following the label instructions. Typically all you have to do is pull back the mulch and sprinkle around the stem from before to a beautiful after in one day. This tree ring got a nice pop of color and the shrub corner makes this home so much more inviting. For more ideas and garden designs, visit lowes.com slash plants and for other home improvement projects, head to lowes.com slash videos.